See, you're All right, live. We're doing the cabin inspection for the DA-20. So as we walk up to the plane, we're gonna have with us the aircraft form binder. We're gonna do a big picture of the aircraft. So we're gonna walk up to it right now, checking for any anomalies that might be wrong with the aircraft, ensuring the chalk is on the wheel. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put all our belongings into the plane. We're gonna take the aircraft forms. We're gonna put those down. We're gonna make sure that our tachometer and our Hobbs indicator check out with what we see on the aircraft forms. We're gonna make note of those, verify them. Then we're gonna take the key out of the uh, aircraft, the, the aircraft logbook that they give us, the aircraft form book. We're gonna hook that on this clip. Then we're gonna make sure that we have our airworthiness certificate. We're gonna check that we have our operating handbook back here, aircraft manual. We're gonna stow the uh, aircraft forms right back here with it. At the same time, we're gonna verify that we have our safety and survivor kit and our ELT antenna. After we do that, we're gonna come down, make sure that uh, outside ambient temperature hasn't affected the aircraft and that the structural temperature isn't overheating. Next, we're gonna, again, verify that the tachometer looks good. No discrepancies there. We're gonna remove this flight control lock. Okay, so this thing, we're gonna unclip it from here and from here and then remove this pull. We're gonna make sure that it's free and clear, okay? Both, we're gonna check the left and the right ailerons and the elevator to make sure that moves. We're gonna set our parking brake. So right here, we're gonna pull this down, bam. We're gonna reach into the rudders, pump the brakes. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna check our, pretty much our engine instruments to make sure they're free and clear. So mixture, full rich, back to idle cutoff. Throttle, full, back to idle. Alternate air, on, off. Cabin heat, on, off. Defrost, floor, back to defrost. Okay, those look good. Now we cross check on here. Mixture, throttle, alternate cabin, defrost, fuel shutoff valve. Last thing, you gotta make sure that's on, right there. Okay. Where is it? Right here. Perfect. Now we're gonna go Gen Bat Master Switch and check our uh, electrical systems. What color switch is that? So Gen Bat Master Switch is right here. We're gonna turn this one on, but for practice, we don't do it. Then we're gonna check our strobe light, our taxi light, make sure those two are up. On the left wing, we're gonna see the landing light come on on the leading edge and we're gonna see the strobe light come on on the wing tip. Then we're gonna turn those off, bang, bang. Next thing we do, we're gonna come up, check the start warning light, press that, it should illuminate. Then we check the gener generator and canopy warning light. That is on, it should be illuminated because the canopy is currently open. Continuing with our flow, we move over to this side. We wanna make sure that we have enough fuel right here. We want to make sure that our volt ammeter and our voltmeter look good. They're in the appropriate ranges. So on the ammeter, we want to see it discharging slightly negative. And on the voltmeter, we want to make sure it's in the normal range. What range is that, Santi? So that range is going to be 12.5 uh, to 16.1 volts. Then we check our circuit breakers. So it's good to just run your hand off over this, make sure they're not popping out. As we come back over here, we wanna check that our carbon, carbon monoxide indicator is in the normal yellow range. Then we come to our flaps. We check takeoff, give it a second, make sure that the flaps come down 15 degrees, check flaps landing, make sure they come down 45 degrees. If that works, we come back up to cruise and then we do gen bat master switch off. Then we do the last thing, which is verify on our checklist that we've got everything. Thank you.